Well, hi there, and uh, welcome to our latest uh, look at the classic constellations. Today we're going to look at Lepus the Hare. Sitting just under the feet of Orion, the constellation means hare in Latin, uh, and is home to the famous R. Leporis variable star, better known as Heinz Crimson Star. It contains several notable deep sky objects, M79, NGC 1821 and the Spirograph Nebula IC418. Starting with the stars, Arneb, Alpha Leporis, is the brightest star in Lepus with an apparent magnitude of 2.58, about 2,200 light years distant from the solar system. And the name comes from Arabic meaning the hair. Nihal, or Beta Leporis, is a yellow uh, bright giant with an apparent magnitude of 2.84, about 160 light years distant. And Epsilon Leporis is an orange giant, apparent magnitude of 3.16, about 213 light years away. The star has 40 times the sun's radius, about 1.7 times its mass, and is believed to be about 1.72 billion years old. Mu Leporis is a blue white subgiant with apparent magnitude of 3.25. 186 light years away from us. Zeta Leporis, an apparent magnitude of 3.52, about 70 light years away. Uh, and a massive asteroid belt was confirmed in the star's orbit in 2001, which was in fact the first extrasolar asteroid belt ever discovered. Gamma Leporis, a yellow white main sequence star, has an apparent magnitude of 3.59 and it's 29.3 light years away. Slightly bigger than the Sun, 1.2 times the Sun's radius, 1.3 times its mass. It's therefore very much a Sun-like star, and is a high priority target for extraterrestrial planetary finders. Heinz Crimson Star, R. Leporis, is a carbon star, a well-known variable showing variations in a magnitude that range from 5.5 to 11.7. It's classified as a long period Myra variable. as a period of 418 to 441 days with a secondary period of about 40 years. Discovered by the British astronomer J.R. Hind in 1845, named Hind's Crimson Star after him, he described the star as appearing like a drop of blood on a black field. Well, deep sky objects in Lepus say Messier 79, a globular cluster with an apparent magnitude of 8.56, about 41,000 light years distant from us. M79 is believed to have originated outside the Milky Way in a Canis Major Dwarf galaxy. And the Spirograph Nebula, IC418, a planetary nebula named the Spirograph because it has an intricate pattern similar to that that can be created with a spirograph. With an apparent magnitude of 9.6, it's approximately 1,100 light years distant from the solar system. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little look at uh, Lepus the Hare, one of the lesser known of the great constellations. I uh, hope to see you next time. Until then, dark skies, stay safe, take care, bye for now, and thank you for watching. Thank you.